Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. <laughs> I know I look crazy, I know, but it's because I'm filming this makeup look today and I'm filming it with this uh, Nudie Patootie palette from Laura Lee and I love that palette. But I was um, finishing my makeup look and I thought, why don't I do a foundation test? And the foundation I'm going to try out is actually the foundation that I already used once on my channel. It and it was in the video Kix Beauty Awards winners of 2018. And I use this this um, foundation. This is Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear 24 Hour Wear and Comfort Retouch Free with SPF 15 foundation. And it was a beautiful foundation. I really liked it, but it was a really wrong shade on me. It was too dark, and I'm, I mean, too dark. The, the shade that I used in the video was was number four, and it was too dark. So I love the foundation. Of course, I ordered another one, and then I ordered number one, shade number one. But when the shade number one arrived, it wasn't a much of the difference except the undertone. I don't know if you can see it. It looks lighter a lot, but we're going to swatch it. It does oxidize, so for me, when I swatched it on my hand next to this one, it it was only the undertone different. So I said to myself, okay, then I go very light. So I ordered, I think, the lightest shade. This is Beige Ivory number 005. And that's this one is light, so we know we have a light one. So now I have three the same, three of the shades of the same. Um, Lancome um, foundation and I'm going to mix them and see which one works better and to light it up. I forgot to say I did order the lightest shade because I wanted to mix these and make it lighter. So I'm going to swatch all of the shades on my hands so you can see. This is not a new foundation. So when I told my sister about this foundation she used it a couple of years ago and she really liked it but it was a little bit expensive. I haven't tried it before making that video last week and I loved it. So I'm happy to have these shades so I can play with them. This is number four. We have the swatch here. Then we'll take number one. Next to it, maybe number number one will work. We will see. But it's so perfumey, smelly. And this one is new. So this one is... So the, here are all the three dots. Looks like this one might work. Might work. I don't know. So let me swatch. I got some tan this week. So I am a little bit a shade up. Looks like this number two, uh, not two, number one will work. Let's try to put that all over my face. But I'm glad to have this lighter one so I can mix it with the darkest that I have. Oh my god, it's so perfumey. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, I'm going to use a primer. And for that, because I don't have a moisturizer on today, I'm going to use this Smashbox, Smashbox Primer Moisturizer in one. And it's also one of the Kix Beauty Awards winners. The best primer here in Scandinavia. And I like it. I've been using it a couple of days and I really like it. But I've been using it over my moisturizer. So it does keep my makeup on the whole day, really. I don't know if you can see, but it did oxidize a little bit. So I am going to use this one all over my face today, number one. And it looks like it's a little bit lighter. I did, like I said, had a little, some tan. Sorry guys, my camera stopped working while I was applying. So I said I, I did get a little bit of a tan this week. So for this I'm going to use my Beauty Blender on one side and a brush on the other. Uh, it's not really the same shade. It is a little bit dark. It does it does oxidize. Well, I prefer the beauty blender, so I'm going to go with a, in with the beauty blender. So actually, 
I don't see any coverage right now, so I'm going to put more. But I think, think I'm going to mix a little bit of this lighter shade because it does oxidize. So now we are going to go in with the Beauty Blender and build it up, of course. I'm going to wear it a couple of hours and see how it's going to work. But it smells so strong. So this one blends like a dream. It really sinks into my skin and becomes one with my skin. I can't even see that I have foundation on. I don't think it's full, full coverage. It's medium, medium coverage. And uh, buildable, of course, but not that much. I still can see some of uh, my spots, but it oxidizes like nothing. It really oxidizes a lot and oxidizes fast. Fast. I like the feeling of this foundation on the skin. I like the finished look. Uh, the smell is so strong, but I'm happy that I had all of the three shades so I can play with them. I'm very excited. I don't know if you can see, but this looks like my skin. Really like it. It reminds me of the um, Estee Lauder Double Wear, but not as full coverage as that one, and not it doesn't have a strong smell like this one. This smells so strong. So I'm going to use a concealer, and today I'm going to use my favorite concealer, Double Wear, Stay in Place. It's still out there. And the other products, they blend beautifully over this product, this foundation. And to set up everything, I'm going to use my Flower Beauty Powder that I got from my friend Valerie. Now, box swap with you. This powder is so fine meal that it flies everywhere. It's everywhere. So I'm going to finish my makeup and I'll be right back. So guys, everything is done. My makeup is done. The foundation feels so light on my skin. It feels like I don't have any foundation at all right now. It doesn't feel sticky. The bronzer and the blush and the highlighter went on smoothly on over the foundation. Really, really like how this uh, foundation really looks right now. So I'm going to set everything with my setting spray. This is Supreme Matte Finishing Spray from Revolution Pro. So this uh, looks very nice. It's not really full coverage, but it's a very nice coverage. I really like, and I really love how this feels on my skin. It feels like my skin it doesn't feel like I have foundation or at all. I know I said it a couple of times right now, but the, that's the reason why I really felt for this foundation. So I'm going to wear it right now. It's around 12, 15. So I'm going to wear it the rest of the day and see how it looks and I will do check-ins at the end of the day and tell you my full thoughts. Just before I go, I want to show you how much it oxidizes. So this is how much it oxidized. This one is this shade here and this one is the shade here in the middle. So the lightest here is this one. And this one is this here. So it oxidizes a lot. So keep that in mind. And I know I could go in the store and I know I could go in the store and try this foundation, but they didn't have all the shades and I couldn't wait. I don't like waiting. Don't have patience for that. So to have a darker and a lightest, it's not bad. I can mix and make my own. Right now, I really like how this looks. I really like how it feels and we'll do check-ins. So stay for that. So, hi everyone, welcome back. Now it's, it's 9 o'clock and I had this foundation for around 8-9 hours. And I do, when I see myself in the mirror, I do look a little bit shiny, but not oily, just a little bit shiny. But this foundation looks so good on my skin. And look at this makeup. It's been on, except the lips of course, I just reapplied the lip gloss that I had before. But um, this makeup holds up pretty good. 
the whole day. And it's very hot today, I can say. Of course, it doesn't stay on there where I have my glasses, but I love the finish of this foundation. It doesn't settle into my fine lines. It sinks into my skin. It just looks so beautiful. I love it. It looks very, very nice on my skin. I understand why it's Kicks Beauty Awards winner here in Sc uh, Scandinavia 2018. This is a very good foundation. I forgot to read about it uh, in the beginning of the video, but it says here, let me see if I can find it in English, and I don't have my glasses on, so I will try to do my best to read properly. But this is a 24 hours of wear for divide lasting perfection. Following eight years of research, Lancome Unvils, Unvils, its first 25 hour wear foundation for lasting perfection. With its eternal soft technology, Tint Idol Ultra Wear defeats all challenges. With touch free, complexion stays perfectly sub subtle, shine free, flawless, un unified. Tint Idol Ultra Wear is irresistible, comfortable, it's blendable and fresh texture is divide and leaves the complexion perfectly smooth, velvety and matte with no powdery effect. Um, shake well before each use. Oil and transfer free foundation, sweat and friction resistant without mask effect. Suitable for all skin types, even sensitive. 30 milliliters. So I did forgot to shake it before I used it. I always forgot to shake foundations before I use them. That's me. But this looks so good on my skin. Really good on my skin. I love it. I love, love, love this foundation. I'm so happy that I found it. And I really like it. It looks nice. It still looks flawless. Like I just did this makeup look. This is a wonderful foundation. I truly recommend it. That was everything. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to, to uh, enter my giveaway. Uh, I will put link down below and information down below. Thank you so much for watching. And see you in my next video. Bye.